Hello everybody. So today I am here at the Embassy of Panama and we have something very special for you. Hello ma'am. Hello Mrs. Itasha. How are you? Very good. Thank you. So to begin with, why don't you tell our listeners about Panama? Okay. You want me to tell about Panama? So about tourism in Panama, what to do when you go to Panama? Okay. So when people think in Panama, the first thing is on their mind. In the top of mining is the Panama Canal. I know that. Everybody has studied that at school. And we are very popular for that. But Panama is much more than that. Since the Panama Canal is our number one monument important in, in, in what's in engineering and everything, it's very important to visit. You should do that. But there are a couple of other things to do. Uh, we have in, uh, an important historical tourism and all over the country that explain and, and represent our idiosyncrasy in the history with our Spanish conquerors and some forts, fortifications, uh, old Panama, which is very, very famous in the capital city, uh, all cities also throughout the, the regions that um, show what's our history and, 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 and you can go and visit all of these UNESCO heritage monuments we have. But Panama also has a lot of adventure tourism and which is all over the country too. So we have beautiful pristine and crystal water beaches at the Caribbean side. And also we have the second biggest reef in the Pacific in the Coiba Island. And, and you can go and, uh, and do a very nice snorkeling. Also, Panama is very famous for the surfing beaches, if you like the surfing. And adventures, you can do a lot of bird watching because we're one of the small countries in the continent that have the majority kind of birds. So you, you have couple, a lot of birds migrating to all the continent that pass through Panama. So bird watching is also important. And of course, last to mention is the uh, indigenous a kind of sustainable tourism in which you help the community of indigenous people and you get to know their customs, their traditions, you can live between them, they dance for you, they offer your, you Very the nice. food and it's a whole experience. We have um, uh, nine tribes of different kind of indigenous um, um, people and each of them has its unique uh, way of showing to the world what are the traditions. So uh, Panama offers a lot, definitely. I'm sure everybody listening out there are quite happy and you should plan visiting Panama very soon. So ma'am, when it comes to bilateral trading, if you could share some light about what can a person do in terms of trade with Panama? Yes, I'm more than happy to share with you. We have a very dynamic commercial exchange. Um, let's begin talking about um, India imports to Panama regarding the goods. And so in total, it's importing um, from 2022 to 2023, more or less in two years, and 350, 100 millions. So uh, in this sense, then the first uh, item that it's been imported in Panama is the passenger vehicles and motor vehicles. And uh, number two, the pharmaceutical products which are very important and has to, I think, grow more. We have an opportunity there to uh, import more pharmaceutical products from India. Number three, the machinery and, and its components too, um, in different kind of fields, uh, agriculture, chemical, industry labs uh, that use these kind of machineries. And also we're using a lot of uh, importing devices and components and tools um, from these machineries and solar panels also we are importing and its components and different kind of uh, steel cables and also we have to add textiles tablecloths and bed linen and i think the last item that we are importing it's uh, the ceramic ceramic tiles so it's kind of a little bit of everything no so in the side of Panama, we are exporting to India around um, 400 million of, wow. uh, of, of, of dollars in, in, in goods, which are number one, uh, different kind of woods, especially the teak wood. Number two, um, uh, we are exporting a different kind of scraps uh, from copper, uh, steel, 
from aluminium and, and dairy baits. And number three, we are exporting leather to India. And so, you know, when you think about uh, bilateral trading, also you have to think about investing. Why Panama is a good place for investors to establish? Panama has a solid democracy of more than 30 years, a solid government, we have demonstrated that, and a good financial system, a dollarized economy. But the most important thing about Panama is the connectivity we have by air and, and by, by, by sea also. We have a five very important ports in the region and, and a very uh, large uh, free zone, which is the Cologne free zone. So, you know, uh, when companies are thinking about this, they think our uh, strategic position and the connectivity we offer for these companies to, to, to use our benefits also in the regime uh, laws that are established in Panama and that they are very secure. So just to give you an example, we have more than 188 multinational companies using these regime laws all over the country. And uh, an example of this is some companies, some Indian companies that, um, that we have is in, in total eight in the capital city of Panama that came from India. But in the last three years, we have been with um, UPL company and we also have uh, TBS Motors and Hero Motors, which are famous, is a famous brand here. And, and a pharmaceutical that has been established also, it's um, Etero, Etero Labs. So we want more of this. We want more and more uh, commercial exchange regarding the establishment of these Indian companies in mm -hmm. Panama and take advantage of all the benefits that we can offer. All right. Thank you. I think it was very beneficial knowing all these details from you. And let's see the kind of trade we can have from the Indian market. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you for the invitation and for interviewing me in this embassy. Thank you.